What's up guys, Andrew Miranda on Team DGA. We're out here at the Portland Open. I'm finally getting my bag set. I'm gonna show you guys what I've been throwing. So first out, I'm putting with the Splatterstone Steady BL. Nice, round, beadless, go straight. Been putting really well with these, been loving these things. Um, I got a couple more Steady BLs. We got another just stock DL plastic. Nice, I can shape it, has your flip straight, whatever. Um, got it ice. These are fantastic. Rip on them, just go straight, a little bit of fade. Been absolutely loving this thing. All right, onto the approach discs. I got one zone, just a nice overstable up shot disc, I turn back in. Um, got three mids, got the aftershock. Been totally loving the aftershock this year. Got this old limey, shout out Peter McBride, hooked it up with this one. Nice and flippy, you can really shape this in the woods. And then just got another first flight uh, pro line, just super straight, can rip on it. Goes exactly where I need it to go. And then one quake, just a nice overstable. If it gets windy, I can throw this over the aftershock. Nice for sidearm too. All right, next up into the fairways, we got the pipeline. Pipeline is an amazing understable fairway. I got one of the last year's Colbert Allen pipelines. This I use mostly for rollers. It's pretty beat up at this point, but really nice utility disc. And then got one of these Shasta Chris Glow pipelines. These are a little bit more overstable over run. Shout out Cole for turning me onto these. I absolutely love this thing. Rip on it, nice hazard flip, goes dead straight. Been really loving this one in the woods. And then we'll go to the Bonsai. This has been probably my favorite fairway this year. Just rip on it flat, goes dead straight, a little bit of fade. Um, yeah, can really just hold whatever angle I need to. It's just like a big aftershock. And then uh, last but not least, we got the, the Avalanche. Got the flat top first flight, super beefy. Everybody knows these things. Flat top Firebird, cap wrap, whatever you want. Um, and then the straighter, Marweed Glow Avalanches. These are just like a Sexton Firebird, nice and straight. You can work them a lot more. And uh, yeah, I like this one a lot for Saturn. Right, onto the distance drivers, we got the Hurricane. These are going to be a lot more shapeable than some of the other ones I'm going to talk about. Got this Pro Line first flight. It's going to be nice and understable. If I ever need to finish right and far, I'm going to be on with this one. And the SP, it's a nice old domey one, dead straight. You can rip on it, really control it. Really enjoy throwing this one. And next up, we got the, the Hypercane. This is just a step up from the Hurricane. We got Old first flight, found this in Drew's, Drew Gibson's garage, so thanks for this one. This one flies super good, really beefy. This is probably my go-to when it gets windy. I can really control it, but it's still nice and overstable. And then a uh, counterpart to that, got this one from Manny Torres. Uh, it's super beefy, just beat, but really, really overstable. Can handle any wind. And uh, last one, if I just need max distance, got some AB610 nukes. Just bombers, domey, nice and stable. Love them. That's all we got. All right, you get start to hear it to rain. We're gonna we're gonna get out here, get some shots for you guys before it gets too wet. But uh, appreciate you guys tuning in.